Hi everyone, I'm Skulls. During the day, I'm a banker dealing with billions in bonds, but by night, I'm all about one piece. While I personally invest in stocks and treasuries, I've recently been putting some money into the One Piece card game launched by Bandai earlier this year. I'm not sure why nobody is talking about this, but there is a significant investment potential in the One Piece card game right now. I have to disclose that I am a One Piece fan and a card collector, but today I want to discuss this purely from an investment standpoint. Trading cards fit into the alternative investment category, much like luxury items such as Rolex watches. They can serve as a safety net during volatile market periods, holding their value and, in a way, offering a form of insurance against market downturns. We'll explore three key points. Starting with the first point, trading cards as an alternative investment. With financial markets buzzing with options like cryptocurrencies, NFTs and stocks, trading cards might seem like an unusual choice. Yet, their historical resilience stands out. Icons like Pokemon and MTG have proven their worth. For example, a Pokemon Illustrator card from 1998 recently fetched over $5 million. Meanwhile, a card from MTG launched just this year went for a staggering $2 million. These are tangible assets. Unlike cryptocurrencies or NFTs, they offer a unique blend of diversification, limited supply, and a growing market. Now, there are so many TCGs out there, so why One Piece? Simply put, One Piece is on fire right now. Ichiro Oda's masterful storytelling has hooked readers for decades. Beyond the plots and characters, the series itself is a roller coaster of emotions. It's funny, sad, adventurous, and deeply profound all at once. If you haven't dived into the series, you should definitely give it a go. The quality of recent anime episodes have been top-notch as well. Just recently, an episode about the main character Luffy's Gear 5 made it to the big screen in many countries. This shows just how popular the anime of the series is. Furthermore, Netflix's recent One Piece live adaptation shattered records and perceptions, ranking number one on its platform in 84 different countries on its first weekend, surpassing Wednesday and the later season of Stranger Things. My wife, who never liked the manga or anime, fell in love with the live adaptation, or rather, fell in love with the Zoro's actor Mekan Yu. I'm willing to let it slide this time for the greater good. Quite a few people have approached me asking about One Piece card game because of how successful the Netflix adaptation was. There are also reports suggesting that the One Piece popularity have surpassed giants like DC and Harry Potter, ranking at third spot just below Star Wars and Marvel. So, why not the traditional big players like Pokemon, MTG, or Yu-Gi-Oh? Look, I'm not here to debate the investment merits of Pokemon or MTG. They are like the huge bank stocks in the market, stable with dividends, mature with a proven track record. One Piece is more like the Tesla of trading cards. It's risky for sure, but it could shoot all the way up in no time. Can it match or even surpass the victory in time? Well, I for sure wouldn't bet against it. The One Piece card game is showing this potential with its initial set, OP01, shattering sales expectations. Most of the cards in my collection currently, like the Black Label Leader cards and the Nami Alternative art from the first booster box, have more than doubled in value within a year. The serialized Luffy I acquired for about 2,400 bucks is now worth at least 4,000 bucks, which is a 170% return within a very, very short period. So why invest now? With the recent Netflix adaptation being a big hit and a card game being still fresh, not everyone knows about it. Once they do, prices could go up a lot. Especially now with the new Ichiro Oda signed card in the upcoming anniversary box set to release in two months. Just think about this. The Pokemon Illustrator card, one of the big names, is priced at a whopping $5 million. Then there is the One Piece serialized Luffy card, currently going for just 4000 bucks. Given how popular One Piece is, isn't this the best time to start investing? However, like all investments, 
it's essential to approach with caution and do your own research. Remember, all investments carry risks. I will be making more videos about what cards to collect in the future, so stay tuned. Beyond the investment side of things, the One Piece card game brings so much fun and joy. It's not just about buying and selling. It's about connecting with the community of fans from all over the world. It's the thrill of opening a new pack, not knowing what you're going to find inside. It's the shared discussions, the debates or the best strategies, and the stories that come with every card. Trust me, this is more than just cards. It's an experience you won't forget. So that's it from me. Thanks for listening. If you like this, please subscribe and follow. Check out my site strawheadloots.com and grab a box for 380 dirham if you are in the UAE. See ya!